If you haven't heard about Fuklo, you probably will soon. Today we're going to go to South Beach, it's one of the more popular beaches on the island. But let's talk about transportation before we go. There's tour buses you can do, but we don't know how much they cost because we don't typically ride in those. Taxis are another option. One of the taxi drivers that we met quoted us about 12,000 dong per kilometer. That seems to be the going rate here. We prefer to take a motorbike. They run for about 150,000 dong per day. You can go at your own pace and stop off where you'd like. The more days you stay, the more the price comes down. We ended up negotiating a 500,000 dong rate for four days, so essentially paying 125,000 dong per day. Now we do have to put gas in it, but it's relatively cheap compared to the cost of a taxi getting from point A to point B. Anyway, we're talking a lot, too much informational, let's get into the fun stuff. Duangdong is likely where you're going to end up staying. It is the main town area aside from Antoi, which is the other township in the very southern part of Fuqua. You'll know when you're here because you go down a long dirt road and then you come to a parking lot that is filled with vans and buses alike, taxis, other motorbikes. And it makes sense because it's the most popular beach on the island. This place is definitely set up for you to come, spend the day, relax. You can rent jet skis here, you can rent kayaks, there's chairs available, there's stand-up paddle boards, there's swings in the water. But because it's the most popular beach, do be prepared. Uh, you're not going to be the only ones on the beach. flip side of that coin, if you keep walking past South Beach, there's another beach where it's super secluded. It gives you that kind of Tom Hanks castaway take on the beach. All right, so this is it. This is the beach we were telling you about, and it's actually my personal favorite on the entire island. What I love so much about it is this is the place where the forest directly meets the ocean. It's uninterrupted. There's no restaurants out here. There's no hotels out here. And hell, there's no body out here except for us. Now, I know what you're thinking. You probably see a lot of the debris behind me, and I'm gonna be real with you guys. We came out here last year and filmed. We put a video out on the, uh, on the internet, and we caught some smoke for it, but... This beach is just as beautiful as South Beach. Unfortunately, this one's a little bit more neglected. It's actually completely neglected. Whenever a storm happens, all the garbage from the ocean ends up washing up onto the beach, and there isn't really anyone here to clean it up. So instead of just talking about it this year, we wanted to do something about it. So we brought bags. We got all this in just a matter of a few minutes. This beach still needs a lot of loving, but we hope that this video brings some awareness to the environment next time you're out and about, because let's be honest, we could all do a little bit better. I think we missed the spot. We're now on the way to my favorite beach, which is called Ong Lang. It's an adventure just to get there. The reason I 
love this beach is because it's not that commercialized. There's one restaurant here when you pull up, a few huts, you can bring your own food, probably bring your own beer, and you can hang out for the entire day. It's calm, it's relaxing, and it's clean. This beach is it's extremely wide. It's probably anywhere from like 20 to 30 feet of sand. It's really long. For all you beach walkers, there's plenty of ground to cover. And for all you beach bums, there's plenty of sand to find your own spot once you're here. Okay, so I might have been wrong with the name of the last beach that we were at. I believe it is part of Ong Lang Beach, but there's also rumor that Ong Lang Beach is actually a little bit further south, and the best way to access it is by coming to Mango Bay Resort, and that's where we are right now. We rolled up, parked our motorbike, walked in. So far, we haven't paid anything, and it's really nice grounds in here, so you might want to consider staying here as well. But the main reason that we wanted to come here was to see if there's any difference between the beach we were at last, and here. So you be the judge. Not sure which one's the real Ong Lang. here is called Kat, so by meaning beach and Kat. And the other one that we were at is the true Ong Lang Beach. Equally nice, pick your poison, decide for yourself, come check them both out. Gondau Beach is a really quaint fisherman's village and if you bring your motorbike along the ocean front the homes are budding right up against the bay this is a, a true insider's perspective to the simplistic life of the seamen or fishermen that are here it's really cool because you get to observe and really see how how life is on this side of the island located at the very north point of the island. You can actually see other islands that are Cambodian islands, which is an added bonus. If you make it to the northern part of Phu Qua, stop at Gandao, walk along the white fence, and come here. Overall feeling of beaches here in Phu Qua is that each of them possess a different value. So some of them, they're more locals, some of them are more touristy, some of them are deserted. You just have to pick and choose and find what works for you. If you're looking for those exotic, harder to get to beaches with crystal clear water and snorkeling, you're gonna have to go south. Now we didn't have enough time to do that this trip, but we did go last year, and I'll show you what it looks like. Should I throw a rock at it? <laughs> 